Hi, in this video, we're going to solve a particular problem which appear in J main 2023. Here, if is a differentiable function defined on 0 to pi by 2, and it says that fx is always greater than 0, and a particular relation is provided. Now we need to find the value of 6 ln a pi by 6. So basically, uh, at the beginning, we can guess that we need to find or we need to evaluate the function fx. Let's go ahead and solve this particular problem. So first we consider the function fx such that fx plus 0 to x uh, if the square root of 1 minus ln if the whole square dt is equal to e. Now see that in this case, we are having the integration. Now our job or maybe more simplified if we able to remove the integration because our main aim to calculate the function fx. So it is observed that, right, that integration what is there in the particular problem is not that easy to go ahead. So that's why we differentiate both sides with respect to x. So therefore, first term will be converted to a dash x if I differentiate and we have the second term under the operator ddx. Now we know that that d dx of integration of 0 to x f t dt will be equal to always fx dx. This is the basic Leibniz uh, fx, sorry. This is the basic Leibniz rule. Now using that then, right, we can easily say that f dash x plus fx square root of 1 minus ln fx whole square is equal to 0. Therefore, Therefore, we can easily obtain that or you can easily find that we obtain a differential equation kind of a concept in the last or previous step. So for simplicity, we consider y is equal to f dash x. So therefore, dy dx, which is f dash x is equal to y into square root of 1 minus ln whole square. Now see that we can easily rewrite it as dy dx plus y minus ln whole square equal to 0. So this is a differential equation. If I do the separation of variable, we get differential equation can be solved using that technique. Now integrate both sides. So therefore, we get integration of dy by uh, y into ln y whole square is equal to minus dx. Now therefore, we can perform the integration both the integration on left and right side properly. Let's go ahead. Now, to solve this integration, we consider, especially for the right hand side, left hand side, sorry, ln y is equal to z. So therefore, dz will be 1 by y dy. So if I use this substitution, our integration dy by y will be transformed by dz and the other stuff will be 1 minus z squared. So therefore, we get dz by square root of 1 minus z squared equal to minus dx. Now, it is obvious that the integration in the left hand side is actually equal to sine inverse of z and that's equal to minus x plus c. So therefore, we get the solution. Hence, z is equal to, that is, ln fx, which will be equal to sine of minus x plus c. Now, notice that to find out c, we need a condition of the or value of the function at some particular point. Now, notice that in this particular uh, given expression, right, which is, uh, which is obviously given as fx and uh, 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 ln fx and all that stuff. If I substitute x equal to 0, then we can easily calculate what is f0. So that's why I substitute x equal to 0 and we have f0 is equal to e because the limit or the integration 0 to 0, ft and ln ft and all that stuff is obviously equal to 0. So therefore, we get f0 equal to e. Now, using this condition, we find ln of f0 is equal to sine c again by substituting x equal to 0. Now we know that f0 is equal to e. So therefore, ln e is equal to sine c and sine c equal to 1 and which imply c is equal to pi by 2. So therefore, our 
function ln of x will be sine pi by 2 minus x, which will be reduced as fx is equal to e to the power cos x. So we have ln fx equal to cos x and therefore fx is equal to e to the power cos x or here as we need to find out ln of pi by 6 we just substitute x equal to pi by 6. So therefore it will be cos pi by 6 that is root 3 by 2. So therefore 6 times of ln a pi by 6 is 3 root 3 by square is 27. So therefore for this particular problem the correct answer will be 27 and that's it. Hope you, you hope you understood the problem and if you want to learn from us in the similar manner for different type of PYQ problem, especially for ITJ and IIT main, please subscribe to our channel and stay with us. Any com anything feel anything you want to say, feel free to put a comment section so that we know what you want personally. And your personal doubts or your personal query will be addressed in one or two days. So please free to go ahead and put your any problem in the comment section. Thank you.